Starbucks health insurance covers transitioning. Um, oh, well. But because of the recent sweep of union formations across Starbucks chains, um, they will begin to withhold um, transition coverage if the trans Okay, so your idea is very really bad. Your idea is very really bad. I all of a sudden, it, turned, it was really good. I don't know what happened. So you're saying Starbucks covers transition, okay? Uh, oh, good, better now. Can you hear me better now? Okay. Yes. Um, Starbucks uh, health, yeah, health insurance covers transitioning, but because of the recent sweep of unions, uh, like people voting for well, voting to create a union and the union being created, uh, they said they they will withhold health insurance health insurance to cover the trans person if they join a union and i was just wondering okay, what your idea is breaking up for me I, again i don't know what happened but you're uh, you're saying the unions are so the unions are, uh, are moving against starbucks coverage of trans to transition is that what you're no saying? no uh starbucks is going to withhold the transition coverage if oh, the if trans the person joins a union oh okay wow that's crazy okay okay i was just wondering what your thoughts on it i don't know that's of... kind of crazy that's um so this is the the economical left is going to be put against the um, the social issues left now what is more important <laughs> why are they doing this that's how, that seems like a political that seems like a um social suicide like wouldn't that be like hey we're gonna we're gonna punish trans people for joining unions like wouldn't that be a pr nightmare why would they do that that doesn't seem right that doesn't seem like somebody a professional in the pr department would suggest i i think because a lot of people uh, a lot of trans people they join Starbucks wait, wait, wait. for I a while okay is it just that or they're just removing a whole bunch of benefits and that's just include one of one of them so i think i think what might have happened if i have to guess is that um starbucks is saying if you join unions we're going to just remove certain benefits okay and that was one of them and to paint starbucks as anti-trans people are fixating on that one thing is that possible? You're muted. That is definitely a possibility. Okay, so that's my guess. Let's gamble on it. Okay. My gamble is like Starbucks is not like no trans, no transfer coverage for you, trans people, if you join a union. My guess is that Starbucks <laughs> would not do something like that because that would be very crazy. That would be like trans make uh, Starbucks look really bad in media. My guess is like they just removed a whole bunch of privileges, a whole bunch of things that they were giving to their employees, not privileges, a whole bunch of benefits that they were giving to their employees if they joined. And th because this was part of one of those many other things, some people were like, oh my God, I know how to make Starbucks look evil by doing this. I That would be my yeah, guess. I, we'll see. Yeah, there's two different sides to this one is the union side and the unions are saying they're threatening to withhold gender affirming coverage and the starbucks side which is we're not doing this at all okay yeah i, I wouldn't i wouldn't if i don't know if this is true but if i had to guess this is not true at all because that would be i mean starbucks the people working at starbucks the pr department they you know they know they would know better to do something like this you know what i mean that would be I mean, at this day and age, you can't do something like that to specifically be like, we're going to punish, we're going to specifically punish trans people <laughs> for joining a union. That's like, that, ah, that's like, that does evil. sound really cartoonishly evil. Yeah, it sounds cartoonishly evil. So again, it might be true because things like even things that are cartoonishly evil sometimes do happen. But if I had to guess, I would say like somebody is misrepresenting what's happening. Hey guys, if you're a fan of Blasphemy and Sexy Callie, you know, like me, then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter. Link in the description below.
because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today. And we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week. So make sure to subscribe. Link in the description below.